Hey guys, before the video starts today, I just wanted to make a quick comment about what a travel video is doing on Go Size. As you guys know, we have had two YouTube channels for a long time. There's this channel and then there's our travel channel. We discussed it a lot and we really want to feature our travel videos on this channel because traveling is such a big part of why we decided to downsize in the first place and why we keep living the lifestyle that we do. So it makes a lot of sense for us to start featuring our travels on this channel and that way you guys can kind of follow our lifestyle a little bit more and it will be a little bit more personal. We'll still keep filming house tours and doing the videos about tips about downsizing, paying off debt, none of that is going to change. We just want to add in the travel videos. So hopefully you guys like it. We're going to try it out for a while. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And let's move on to today's video. Hey guys, we are about ready to head out for our first trip with Max and it's been kind of fun packing. I tried to pack light and of course, I don't really have any experience packing light with a baby yet. Cute little baby who's falling asleep. He's talking to his bee. He's very much in love with his bee right now, which is really cute. Our car broke down. Long story, Morton is picking up the replacement car, the rental car, and the car seat thing. So now we're about ready to head out. I think that's a pretty good fit for a smaller car than our own. Let's hit the road. Who doesn't like a bit of German muscle car? It's not downsizing, but it's prioritizing. Because normally we drive a cheap, crappy car. <laughs> we really wanted to take Max on a little trip. And we have a family reunion thing on Morten's side on his family this Saturday. So far he likes driving. It's not that far, it's two hours. Martin just changed the diaper on the back seat like a pro. Yep. <laughs> so how is it being on the road with a baby so far? It's fine, he's easy, he's awesome. He slept the whole way. Yeah, he's smiling. <laughs> he slept like two Check hours. out this dude. Yay! I got a clean diaper! Yay! Oh, I forgot his pants. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it looks like we found the perfect setup and perfect parking, and we're ready to explore this vacation town, right? Yeah, it's Lücken. Actually, my mom grew up pretty close to this place, yeah. so I spent a lot of summers here on the beach. It's a perfect beach. It's, it's probably the best beach in Denmark. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's one of the top rated ones in all of Denmark. It's looking pretty cool already. There's a surf school here. <laughs> every summer. You can't live in them but you have them to change your clothes and hang out and they go from generation to generation so it's really hard to get a hold of them. There's a long waiting list. There's about 500 of them. They are right up against the dunes and then behind every house there's like tiny little dunes forming so when the season is over they have a hard time getting them free of the sand. The season on these huts runs from May to September and they're actually starting to take them in so we're really lucky that we didn't miss it. boats in and then you can actually come down here and buy fresh fish so they have a website where every fisherman can announce whenever he's gonna dock in here and then what he's gonna be carrying and then you can just go down there and buy it which is pretty cool
Let's see if Morton found a good place for lunch. This is Lugan Brewery and they have an offer where you, all you can eat for 10 bucks. That is pretty good for Denmark. <laughs> Let's see if Morten likes their beer. It's a nice local beer. It's a dark beer with coffee and whiskey. Approved. This is so cool. <laughs> they have a lot of funny little stores here. This little store is called A Thousand and Three Things. <laughs> yeah. So it's probably everything and a bit more. <laughs> Apparently these yellow houses is like iconic of Norjuland, so the north of the country. So all these old fishermen's houses, they used to be yellow, I don't know why, but I think they still have to paint them yellow. It's so cute here on this little town square. This is what they call Bellhutel, which is like a hotel where you live very close to the ocean so you can go swimming. So it's like a swimming hotel, <laughs> spa thing. We sat down at this hotel and I ordered something that's very Danish. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else, but it's called a shooting star. And it's basically a piece of bread and it has a breaded fish fillet and then some shrimp and salad and stuff and it's really good and it looks delicious <laughs> mm. it's super fresh I love it I got another local beer I got an open sandwich with shrimp it's also pretty famous for this area I guess I think it's actually going pretty well so far having Max on this trip mm -hmm, definitely he's an easy kid he sleeps he eats he poops he does what baby does <laughs> It's a perfect baby. They're making candy, hard candy. This one because it's his mom on it. <laughs> Do you want a dad candy? And these ones are this special Danish salty licorice, which no Americans like, but we love it. So, lots of that. Wow, these candies are crazy. There are some where it actually says wedding 2016 on them, and the letters are teeny tiny, and one that says baby in light blue. This is this babe. It's perfect. Look at this view up here. Hmm? There's an actual tower up there. It's nice. This whole place is filled with small alleyways. And you can tell that each house was just kind of built at the end of the next one. It they didn't have any city planning here, so it's kind of messy and all over the place, but it's really nice. That's a house that has almost been swallowed by the dune. We found something that looks like an old German bunker. It is. It is? There are lots and lots and lots of old German bunkers here. More than... 7,000 in There's 7,000 in Denmark on the west coast. So... Denmark is a tiny country in case you don't know. So... That's a lot. <laughs> It's another bunker and actually they put in electricity. See the wires going in, so apparently they have something electrical in there, but it's all, of course, it's all sealed off and not public, so. They should do like art exhibitions down there or do like public wine cellars. <laughs> Use it for something. Okay, I'm out exploring on my own because the stroller thing does not go up here. Wow, look at 
look at this guys I found the bunkers it's a crazy place look at this all of these bunkers they were buried in the dunes and they dropped and crashed by the water It's crazy that these things can just drop out of the ground and down on the beach. They are huge! Look how big they are. That was fun guys and I'm pretty sure that's a wrap for today. We're going to Morten's uncle and aunt to eat dinner and that's where we're staying for the next few days. So. We're just gonna hang out with them tonight and have fun. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.